Virtual Designer Con 2020, there was an artist there that simply was the one I was most excited about, and that was Lo-Fi Collective. Uh, she showed up on the Pop Shop Live, did paintings throughout the entire event, and she was listening to some awesome lo-fi, down-tempo music while she painted live. It was phenomenal. And there were at least three, no, four pieces that she was gonna be selling during that event. And uh, one of them was known as Shadow with two different colorways. Uh, another was going to be Real Me, which is the third piece. And then there was also a, a really beautiful vase that she had done as well. And uh, all the pieces looked phenomenal. They were on my radar. It was actually the first shop I jumped into. And all the way, from Korea, where she is based out of, my package showed up. Surprisingly, it made it before a whole lot of the United States-based artists, which during the COVID-19 pandemic really kind of blew my mind. But today I want to show off two of the three pieces that I received from Lo-Fi Collective, and I'm going to crack that open now. So Lo-Fi Collective does have an Instagram page, and she's also affiliated with another store and if you go to her page, you'll be able to find out all the info you want to see over there, including information about um, upcoming pre-orders that she might be working on. And I believe her name is pronounced Yoon Byo Choi. If I am incorrect, please correct me. All of her pieces are hand-painted. She paints them all herself. She has different colorways of some of the designs that she's done. And so she just did uh, a pre-order for the final batch of the shadow figures and mentioned that they're gonna be shipping out in March. Reason being, she is hand painting every single one of them. On the Pop Shop Live, there were, uh, I believe it was either three or five of each of them. And uh, I jumped on them right away. She sold out of all of her stuff practically instantly. So the rest of the weekend was just her painting and creating awesome pictures with some awesome music in the background. Uh, but yeah, the rest of these, she limited it to 20. So the, the pre-order that she just put up was for the remaining batch. I was so nervous about how these might actually arrive, but obviously she went through some uh, great processes here to make sure they did arrive safely. So we have three distinct boxes and then there's a platform on the bottom, which is going to be for that uh, real me figure. So I picked up the two shadow colorways, uh, the black and the black and white, and then the real me figure. And if you haven't heard of Lo-Fi Collective before, you might be familiar with the Martian Toys Slave to the Siren figure. And that is one that um, colorway of, so the paint job uh, was hers for that one. So right here, this one says real me on it. So this one we're gonna hold on to for a bit. Here is our Shadow Black. A card. And a very nice bonus for those that ordered both of those colorways. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. She included one of her paintings to go with it. She signed it and it says one of 16. That's so awesome. And these were the type of paintings that she was doing during the Pop Shop Live event. Wow, that's amazing. Truly appreciate that. So inside here is a handcrafted rug for this figure to sit on, and it's in this sewn pouch. So I, I feel terrible I have to rip open this beautiful sewn pouch to get the rug out. There you see, Lo-Fi Collective. And this was something that she announced after the event was that these little rugs would be included uh, as a bonus. So a, a nice extra bonus. I mean, just the, the details of an artist like this being able to provide this full, well-rounded, beautiful package. Look at that paperclip right there. Even that matches the colorway. I mean, that's the level of uh, craftsmanship we're looking at here. There she is. There is the shadow black 
figure from Lo-Fi Collective. It is the Your Universe paint job, and as I alluded to, all of this white piece, all of the white paint on this figure is hand painted by the artist herself. And that crown does pop off. And the beautiful sculpt with the way the waves of the hair are flowing, the flower petals, her pose, the way she's resting on her legs, all of the actual painting of the stars. And there's even a little spaceship on the back and the sun, the planets. Oh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. I couldn't be happier. It truly is a work of art. I am very thrilled. And now for the contrasting piece, the shadow black and white. Inside this one, we have another envelope and another mat. Is another beautiful painting with the opposite colorway and it is one of 16 as well. And there is the opposite colorway mat. Or I should say rug hand created, just like every piece of this beautiful artwork. And this one is very uniquely different. It's the same sculpt, mind you, but the actual paint pattern that she has used on this one is different. This is more of the botanical paint pattern there was a nature version of the figure as well. Uh, that one I did not get. I just got the contrasting set. And of course you can tell there is also uh, some gemstones on the crown, as well as underneath the eye, like a teardrop. So you can see all the leaves and the vines going all the way around her, including the word love right up top on her head. And it looks like on the bottom is where she has been signing these. Let me check the other figure real quick. I totally missed that because of how I was holding it. Yep, it was signed in the bottom. It's a little more faint on this one. And hopefully that's not what I think might be me touching it and hopefully not smearing it. So I'm trying to avoid. But yeah, they're all signed right along the bottom. So yeah, those are our shadow art piece sculptures from Lo-Fi Collective. And uh, we have the black and the black and white versions and let's go ahead and give them a spin. Thanks for watching.